everyone, it's Joanna Bojarska, the beauty expert. So yesterday when I was getting ready in the morning and before you ask, yes, I still get ready in the morning, even though I don't leave my house that much these days, but it's just my routine. It helps me feel better, be more productive and simply ready for the day. So while I was doing my morning routine, it appeared to me that recently I have discovered quite a few beauty products, which became my favorites. Uh, so I thought it would be a nice idea to sit down and share them with you. So today I will do a little get ready with me type of the video, the things which I usually do in the morning, and I will also show you my recent beauty discoveries uh, while doing it. Okay, so what I have done so far, I have showered and washed my hair. And for the shower, what I'm using at the moment is this Elemis Neroli Blossom Bath and Shower Milk. I really like it because it has this light milky formula, but to be honest, I like, like it more for the shower than for the bath. It has a very nice aroma of this Neroli Bitter Orange, I love it. And it keeps the, your body fresh for quite a long time. So I really enjoy using it. And then one more product, which I like to, which I would like to mention today, and I haven't used it today because I'm usually using it once a week uh, during my Sunday self-care routines. And this is a body scrub. And I have to apologize to the brand and to you as well, because I've pronounced the wrongly this, the, the name of this brand. And this is Haji Cosmetics, not Haggy Cosmetics. So I'm sorry about that. But regardless, beautiful product. I love to use it. It's the, my discovery of 2020. So if you would like to hear more about this product, I will send you to my uh, be the best products of 2020 video just here. So you can have a look and check it this um, description of this product out. So that will be everything for uh, when it comes to my body. And then for my hair, I have just washed it and conditioned it. And I haven't even used any styling products. I've just blown like blow dry them with the uh, with the round brush and that's it and uh, the only two products which I have used on them today is this damage remedy daily hair repair and I'm using like a pea size of it and just massaging it in into the ends of my hair they really feel smooth conditioned and it also protects it uh, protects them against the heat um, and another thing which I've used again from the same brand Aveda speed of light blow dry accelerators spray. I love it. It really speeds up the process of drying my hair and also protects, uh, protects them against the heat. So those two products I have used for my hair today. And um, two more products from when it comes to hair, which I want to show you. My recent discovery uh, discoveries, you might seen them on my YouTube channel before. And this, uh, those are those two living proof products. So my first product, which, which I have actually purchased from this brand is this uh, full dry volume blast texturizing spray. Beautiful product. And then another one, dry shampoo. So they are both really game changers for me. This texturizing spray, you only need a tiny amount. It smells beautiful. Like, I mean, both of them smells amazing. It really gives you the like a full volume to your hair without making them heavy, sticky, or like this, like when you're touching them, you can feel loads of product inside. It's not gonna happen with this product. So I'm really impressed with this texturizing spray. And there's this dry shampoo as well, beautiful dry shampoo. It doesn't leave you that white cast. It really cleanses your hair and it really gives them that, gives them that nice fresh look. So I really, really like this dry shampoo and I'm really enjoying using um, this product as well. Right, so that will be everything when it comes to hair. Now let's move to my skincare. So I have just washed my face. And so I have washed my face with uh, this SVR um, purifying and exfoliating soap free cleanser. And you will hear me talking about this cleanser and many more cleansers really soon because I am now testing loads of different cleansing products so I can do a separate video on this topic. Um, so yes, you will hear me talking about this one very soon. And sometimes when you're testing and trying new products, 
this can be the outcome of it so you can see loads of breakouts on my skin but this is how it is this is what can happen um, when you're testing new products sometimes your skin may just react uh, funny right so i have washed my face and then i have used my um, usual toning mist from aveda really like refreshing and hydrating toner uh, so i'm i've just spritzed my face with it actually i can just spritz I can just spritz it again and I never wipe it off. I just tap, uh, pat it gently into my skin. And that's it. And now I will be either moving to my moisturizer or to my eye cream or my serum. And in this case, I will be moving to my serum because I use serums in the morning and in the evening, different serums on the different times of the day. So I have just finished my B5 Moisture Matte, nothing left, left here, unfortunately. Uh, and this is a very nicely hydrating and mattifying uh, serum. So beautiful, I really enjoyed it. And now I have switched to Stem Cells Rebuilding complex so this serum restores skin strength and vitality it's full of plant stems that will provide this antioxidant and anti-inflammatory protection while supporting the repair process of the skin so this serum will not only um, restore and help to heal your skin but it will also give you that immediate lifting and plumping effect especially uh, for your fine lines and wrinkles and this serum together with let me just find it, this essential b5 hydrating serum those are my two best sellers without a doubt so i will be using my stem cells now and i will just show you how much you're using of it because it's really a tiny little amount of it so something like so so not like a not even a pea size i would say tiny amount because it's a really highly concentrated product so i'm just patting it gently into my skin it has a very light formula so it sinks into your skin quickly and that's it and then i will move on to my eye cream <laughs> and eye cream believe me or not it can be a very controversial topic when it comes to the uh, beauty lovers because there are some people out there which are saying that the eye cream uh, is an overpriced moisturizer and you shouldn't be spending your money on it um, and then the other people are saying that is an absolute necessity uh, to use eye cream in your skincare and for me i personally i like to use a separate eye cream i see the difference um, around my eye area when i'm using a proper eye cream a proper good eye cream um, but if you are a person who doesn't like to spend my long time in the bath and in the bathroom and just applying um, tons of different beauty products you like it very simple and easy you can simply apply a moisturizer all over your face including your eye area as well and it will be fine unless it's a, a moisturizer with some kind of um, a very like harsh active ingredient like retinol it has to be formulated especially if, um, to be to be for you to be able to use it around the eyes when it's retinol for example so yes uh, but you can always ask anyone who's selling you this product if you are okay to use it around your eyes and that's it and now i want to ask you a question actually do you use an eye cream or you just skip this step please answer in the comment section below and if you do use an eye cream if you can share with us what kind of eye cream you are using because i would love to see what products you love and which products you are recommending so yes do you use an eye cream yes or no please uh, but i will share with you my recent di discovery when it comes to my eye area and this is this savre natural collagen eye serum beautiful product it really smooths that um, around the area around the eyes area it really plumps it it's obviously full of active ingredients with this native collagen um, but when it comes to this product, you really need a tiny, tiny amount. And it's a very light formula. So I take, as you can see, I'm really careful when I'm applying it because I take like half of the pump because that's enough because it's a highly concentrated product. So 
so I will just take a tiny little bit, distribute it between my two fingers and then just pat it very gently around my eye area. I am focusing more on the outside corners here because that's where I can see a bit more fine lines and wrinkles and then whatever is left I am applying around my eyes and really tiny my mouth and that will be enough and this is not um, one of not many products which doesn't irritate my sensitive eye area because it's very, for me it's very hard to find a product which won't be like um, stinging, burning my eye area or making my eyes very watery, yes? Um, so this one won't do that. It's very gentle, but still you can see the difference straight away. Right, and then I would like to move to moisturizers and I have two, no, actually three moisturizers to show you today. And one of them, just quickly, one of my favorite, one of my staples, it's this Natural Collagen Nourishing Day Cream from Savre. You've heard me talking about it multiple times. I love it, it has quite a thick formula, but it sinks into the skin beautifully, so I really enjoy using it. And then another one, um, which is like more recent discovery, it's this Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow. So this is a sort of exfoliating moisturizer, and uh, you, it will give you a beautiful glow to the skin, uh, even, uh, even tone to your skin and really uh, moisture your skin, hydrate your skin as well. So it has a very light jelly formula and I don't know if it's gonna, if you're gonna be able to see this like a light formula so you can use it easily for um, combination oily skin but it keeps that hydration on your skin for the whole day and you can really Feel it on your skin like in a nice way um, so yeah that's the second one and the third one um, it's my the most recent discovery is this uh, Bielenda vegan muesli mattifying cream for day and night it has oatmeal which regulates the sebum production rice milk vitamin e sourced from the wheat germ oil so everything to moisturize nourish and condition your skin um, and I really like the formula of this cream as well. First of all, can we just appreciate this packaging? It's really, really nice. And actually I got it in a set. Uh, so it was coming in a set with the eye cream as well. The eye cream should be uh, soothing and hydrating. I haven't used it just yet, uh, but I will keep you updated on this one. Uh, but the cream. Uh, so it's a very uh, like sort of standard formula of the moisturizer. Let me just use this one today. Um, it smells really nice, not overpowering, but it has that really nice scent to it. So I am just applying a thin layer of it. So now, for example, you can see how sensitive my skin is. Uh, I will just touch it very gently and it will go red straight away. But that's normal. This is nothing to do with um, this products being too hard for my skin or too strong for my skin. This is just how my skin is. Right, so the moisturizer is applied and now you, I will be probably moving to SPF. And um, depends on the day, I will either use a cream SPF, so this, for example, Dermaquest SPF Sheer Zinc um, SPF 30, um, or the SPF um, in a sprayed Kate Somerville. But if I'm using um, a little bit of makeup, then I will just spritz my face with this SPF as well. So I will move into my makeup. Up. Right, so before we're gonna start the uh, makeup, I just want to quickly mention about my uh, lockdown beauty offer. So, for example, those serums which I was talking about at the beginning are on the promotion as well. So, if you would like any more information, call me, text me, and we can have a chat what your skincare needs uh, or would you like to upgrade something. Yeah, we can, we can talk about it. So let's move to the makeup. So on the daily basis, I like to keep it simple. Depends, sometimes uh, I will get carried away and I will put a little bit more makeup, but on the daily basis, not really. 
and one of my favorite foundations which I love to use it's my Tarte Amazonian clay foundation as you can see I have a few shades of it always I love this foundation but I would lie if I would tell you now that this is the foundation which I use on a daily basis because I am not uh, I am using this foundation only when I have when I know that I have like a long day of work which is not now uh, or I will be film filming for you so that's when I will usually wear this foundation but on the daily basis I wear a very lightweight um, light coverage foundation and I would maybe use this um, bourgeois healthy mix uh, or at the moment I'm really enjoying this Rimmel lasting finish 25 hours uh, breathable and I have mine at the moment in color 200 soft beige so what I will do with this foundation I will just apply it like so a few strokes of it it has quite a big spatula and a few strokes on my neck as well just to blend it together can we just ignore this please right so on I'm gonna be applying it with my kabuki brush and this is Tarte kabuki brush I love this kabuki brush it's the easiest one to use to distribute the foundation but remember that you can always use your fingers and it will be just as fine and just blending it on my neck as well So as you can see, this foundation doesn't have much coverage. It just evens the tone of your skin gently. Right, so the foundation is done. Um, it's done and now it's time for concealer. Uh, so I usually use my concealer just underneath my eyes. Well, today I might use a little bit here and you know that my go-to concealer is usually this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define color C7 but recently I went to Boots and I have seen that the um, collection done a new packaging for this Lasting Perfection Concealer which was a staple a few years back uh, here on YouTube so I thought like why not let's just get it it's not even like five pounds uh, so I got myself color, color 7 biscuit and I was really impressed uh, the coverage of this concealer is great and you don't need much to cover everything what you need the only thing is that it sets quite quickly so I do one eye at the time uh, because yeah it's a, a quickly setting a formula and I will be using for this Zoeva 142 concealer buffer and how I am applying my concealer underneath the eyes is like, uh, first of all, I am working on the edges of the concealer and then I am moving on the lid as well. I might have put a little bit too much of it, but it's fine. So I will be just working with my brush a little bit with my fingers as well and then just smudging it in and blending it into my skin gently like so and a little bit with my fingers just remember to be very gentle when you are working around your eyes and the difference is quite significant and I haven't even used a, a powder to set it or anything like this and then another eye right so now the eyes are concealed under eye area is concealed so now we're gonna set this and i'm using two different powders so i'm using one powder underneath my eyes and then one for the rest of my face um and uh, for my eyes this the same one and only max factor mineral veil uh, if you have more dry mature skin that will be a perfect uh, powder all over your face uh, but if you are more oily combination you are after this matte um, sort of finish on your skin the uh, translucent loose powder from Laura Mercier will be great um, so I am taking a little bit on the lid from the max factor 
and I will be now taking a simple blending brush Sigma E40 applying a little bit on the um, on the brush and just patting it in to my skin again very gentle moves just to set this uh, area nicely right so now i will be setting in my whole face and to set my whole face i will be using this laura mercier translucent loose powder and you can use either a puff uh, or a fluffy powder brush but i was using the i was showing you this puff in my previous get ready with me video so today for a change i'm gonna use the um uh, brush so i'm just dipping it into the um to the powder and then first I am doing like a staple move uh, movement and just applying a tiny little bit of this powder all over my face like so and one it's worked into the skin it's been worked into the skin I am doing a big circle moves like so and that's it and now I'm gonna use my uh, bronzer so it depends on the day to be honest I'll just put mascara on my uh, lashes and that would be it but today I want to show you a bronzer which is my recent discovery and this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess um, I love this bronzer uh, first of all the packaging is beautiful and inside you have this beautiful uh, milky chocolate blonde bronzer um, which looks beautiful on on the on the cheeks and it really it's between a bronzer and a contour powder beautiful one and I'm just using an angle brush with it and this is a one free one from Sephora and again I don't need to match I'm just applying a tiny little bit of this bronzer like so working it in to my skin as as you can see it straight away gives you that nice line sort of like a contour line really nice uh, really nice product and whenever you're working with a new bronzer or a contour powder try to start with very uh, little on your brush and then you can always build it up with another layer and another layer because if you take too much straight away okay you're gonna get it to this payoff better but then you might end up with loads of smudges on your on your face so yeah I think that's enough of bronzer and now what I like to do you already know that I like to take a little blending brush and this is 228 Lux crease from Zoeva and I'm just dipping it in the same bronzer and just applying a little bit of color on my lids in sort of like a circle motions just to give a little bit of definition not much it's just a wash of color but it really gives you that depth to the lid and then if you want to go a little bit further then you can take a smaller brush and this is the Zoeva 230 Lux pencil and just take a little bit of this bronzer and go underneath your eyes on the lower lid it's not gonna give you again much of a color but it will sort of define this area here a little bit but this is only if you feel like it so that will be a work that will be work with bronzer and then a blush so the blush which I've discovered and whenever I have it on me uh, I always get questions oh what do you have on your on your face what do you have on your face 
and this is my newest discovery Milani Luminoso blush 05 I know I'm a little bit late for this party because this blush was really popular a few years back but I finally got my hands on it and it's a beautiful blush it gives you these beautiful colors to your cheek it has a little bit of a sheen to it so you straight away look fresh um, really um, youthful as well have a look so I'm just adding a little bit And what I like to do as well, I'll take a little bit of this blush on the same bl uh, brush actually and just do a few swipes over my lids. So in that case, I have the same color showing uh, on the whole face, not only in one space. Right, so that will be it. And then obviously I think that's enough of the sheen for my cheeks. But if you like highlights, this trio from Golden Rose, um, those highlights are just beautiful. So you have three beautiful highlights and they are very, very potent. Have a look at this. This is just, yeah, quite, quite a payoff. So you have three different color variations here, beautiful. So you can do whichever you like, you can mix them all together. Um, yeah, so so this is a great option when it comes to, uh, uh, to, to highlighter. And for example, okay, let me just show you this highlight today. So I will be using this Morphe and Jacqueline Hill um, JH09 brush so I might just use let's just mix three all of them all of uh, all of them together and just add a little bit of that sheen so as you can see it can be quite uh, potent uh, on our face but whenever you feel like you added a little bit too much of something um, you can always go with this setting powder take that big fluffy brush and just go over it like so and just blend it together so that will sort of calm down all the blush bronzer, contouring, whatever you are doing or highlighting. Right? So it looks like slightly more settled. Um, right, so that will be my face. Um, and then those highlights you can also use as your uh, shadows in the corners or so just to make those eyes pop a little bit. Mm, so yes, you can use them in the different uh, variations. Right, so that will be my face done. And now uh, I can do a little bit of a brow uh, work. And here I'm using the same brow pencil. This is the Catrice um, Cosmetics and this is Eyebrow Stylist in color. 035 and I will just fill in all the gaps on my brows if I have to my brows are tattooed so I don't really need much and I can either add a little bit of brow gel or not and just leave them like so I like them I like to brush them through just with a normal standard spoolie like so and that's it and then i can i will do my mascara and for the mascara i'm using same old same old uh, but i just love it this is the clinique high impact mascara and i sometimes i will use it with a booster so like a base for my lashes or a mascara on its own so today i will be just using it on its own and i will be just applying a coat of my mascara on my lashes and to be honest uh, if you more if you need a bit more settled uh, look you want just uh, one coat of mascara and this mascara will give you that beautiful full length uh, uh, lashes um, only with one coat only and if you want a little bit of dramatic look then you can also cover the lower lashes as well but it's up to you so, yes. 
Right, so that will be my mascara done and um, the only thing what is left now are lips and on the daily basis I do not really use any lipstick, lip liners or anything like that. Um, what I like to use, I like to use my lip balms and um, if you watch my uh, Black Fly Friday uh, shopping, uh, I have bought quite a few of the sets from Clinique and in one of the sets they had this lip balm and they call it uh, Moisture Surge Pop Triple Lip Balm and I have mine in the color 01 Goji Berry and when I've opened it I was like hmm it has quite a bit of this um, sort of glittery bits inside I don't know if I'm gonna like it the, it doesn't really smell and when I've applied it on my lips I was like okay so let me show you So to be honest, it gives you only that tiny amount of color. So it's like a lip tint. Um, so it gives you like a, a smudge of color on, on your lips. But look at this, it looks so fresh, so natural, nothing is happening, but it gave you that nice sort of healthy look to your lips and they feel really hydrated and very comfortable through the whole day. So yes, Clinique. Thank you very much. I really enjoy it and I think it really um, finishes off the whole look of my like a day makeup, no makeup look. Right, so that will be it. The only thing is now I'm gonna add my um, SPF and sometimes I also like my setting sprays. And I know, you know that for years I've been using this Urban Decay All Nighter spray, but recently I have discovered a very affordable option. This is Bielenda Makeup Academy Fixer Mixer and uh, Fixer Mist, sorry. Um, so, beautiful product and it really sets all the layers of the makeup together and make it last a little bit longer so what i like to use sometimes i will just do a few sprays of it let it set it smells really nice as well so yeah i really really enjoy using this and it's like three or four pounds so really and then uh, i'm just finishing off with the layer of spf and you can't get an easier SPF to use. This is the Kate Somerville SPF 50. Few spritz of it and that's it. Um, and the SPF is done. Your skin is nice and protected. And the only thing is what I do in the morning routine, in my morning routine now, are some perfumes. And as for the perfumes, I, uh, I recently uh, got into two of them. Uh, first, I like this Molten Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily. I um, love this scent. It's very unique, uh, very different. You have this ginger notes here. And this lily, it's yeah, beautiful and it lasts quite a long time. But the perfumes which will stay with you for a whole day and even the day after uh, are one of my favorite Terry Mugler mousse. So it's Angel Mousse. I love those perfumes. Um, it's like rich heaviness of chocolate, vanilla, um, beautiful undertones. To begin with they might be a little bit overwhelming so you have to let them sit for 20-30 minutes and then the scent will be sort of settled and beautiful and it will stay with you for a very very long time so you only need like two spritz and yeah you will be smelling of it the whole room will be smelling of it so yeah beautiful beautiful perfumes i love them and they really are long lasting because you only need a tiny amount. So yeah, right. So that will be my whole morning beauty routine. And now it's your turn to share your favorite beauty products uh, with me as well. So please leave the names of them in the comment section below so I can see which products make you feel better and help you to get ready for the day. And now thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting and if you did please give it some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I try to upload new videos here on a regular basis. 
And if you would like any more information about my Lockdown 3.0 beauty offer, then all my contact details together with my social media links and my website address will be listed in the description box below this video. So quite a few um, useful information down there. All right, thank you very much for today. I wish you all a beautiful day. Stay strong and positive and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.